Hello, and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of March 3rd, 2021. Well, as we all know, um, tomorrow is supposed to be the big day where President Trump is supposed to be re-inaugurated back as pre the 19th president, which basically means that every president up to that point didn't count. We'll see what happens. But I have news on that as well. But to start off with, we're going to start off with our stimulus update to, to intrigue you guys first. And if you remember yesterday, I reported, I reported that Biden met with the Senate Democrats to get the um, get them on board with his stimulus plan. plan. Well, they now struck a new deal to lower the income threshold of the $1,400 $1, stimulus checks. This decision will speed up the phase out of the checks, which makes this more basically more politically correct for the um, conservative Democrats like Joe Manchin, the moderate Democrats, sorry, like Joe Manchin. The income limit is still $75,000 for a single filer and $150,000 for joint filers. Now you're probably asking me, well, but that's the same thresholds as the CARES Act and the Trump bill. You're right, it is. But the income limits... Uh, um, are going to basically start to phase out at around $80,000 or $160,000, depending if you're a single or joint filer. So basically, if you make $90,000, you wouldn't receive any stimulus check at all. As well as if you're a joint filer, you wouldn't receive it. You wouldn't receive a check if you got $180,000. $180,000 a year. This change would of eligibility would affect around 16 million Americans and would reduce... The overall cost cost of the bill to something like fifteen to twenty billion dollars. That's right. They want to reduce the bill by fifteen to twenty billion dollars. This is very disappointing because basically, their idea of to save money is to take it out of American people's pocket instead of cutting a lot of that used to spending this in there. Which I'll let you know what some of it is. You know, the um, what is it called? The um, COVID relief for other countries. The um, spending for the arts and stuff like that, this non-COVID related, those those things need to be cut out. And if you watch, if you watch my YouTube channel, uh, TikTokin, I'll I'll try to put up a picture of my uh, cover art to say you know what it looks like. So you can find it. I actually put two things up there yesterday about people talking about how they can increase the stimulus to the people easily without actually either raising the deficit or by cutting out the, the necessary spending. If, if I'll put that picture up here towards the end. Um, and instead of removing like said, instead of removing the unneeded spending, the moderate Democrats wanted to decrease the enhanced unemployment boost from $400 a week to $300 a week. But it looks like the Senate will stick to the $400 a week. So all you people out there on unemployment, the Senate so far says you're getting four dollars a week on top of your current unemployment. So good for you guys. Keep it up. Okay, get actually don't keep it up. Good job. <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> Jake Sherman, Sherman reported that Schumer wants to move on this relief bill as soon as tonight. I mean, there's there's a lot of changes to go into this. He wants to get this voterama done with so he can get it passed and sent back to the House because that's where it has to go. Now that it's been modified, that'll be modified is it has to go from the Senate to the House, and then the House has to vote on it. And then after the vote, House votes on it, and if it passes, then it goes to Biden's uh, desk, so from the Senate into law. And uh, Joe Manchin, the um, center of these changes, quickly came out of, in support of the changes, basically, to take the money out of the people's pocket. That's right. That's what Joe Manchin wants to do. Take money out of people's pockets. Schumer needs basically all the support of all 48 Democrats and all the two independents to pass his bill. And political reports that Republican Senator Lisa Mikowski could possibly open to be voting on this stimulus, voting yes on this $1.9 trillion Biden stimulus plan or America's Relief Plan, or whatever they want to call it. God love the acronyms, don't you? And basically right now, the, only, the, the moderates are more of a greater threat 
to the stimulus package than the progressives. And why I say that is because if the uh, moderates go out and, and don't, you know, try to cut a little bit of money here and a little bit of money there, it looks bad to their constituents. I mean, for instance, Joe Manchin and uh, Kirsten Sinema are both de Democratic senators for deep red Republican states. So if they didn't try to cut corners here and cut corners there, it looked bad to the constituents and they'd get revoted, they'd get voted out when it comes time to go up for re-election. Whereas progressives, their constituents are like, yeah, that's fine, they're going to spend that money. And they wouldn't get voted out because that's how their constituents want it. But on other news, let's see, I got, I got, I got some very interesting news for you guys. I mean, I hope you guys really enjoy it. Because as of tomorrow, the House of Representatives will not gather for the scheduled session due to the potential threat to capital safety. Security officers have gathered intelligence to show that a possible plot to breathe, breach the Capitol by the identified militia group tomorrow, March 4th, QAnon supporters and other far-right conspiracy theorists believe that tomorrow will be the day former President Donald Trump returns to power. And that's right. He returns to power tomorrow. No, he don't. These people don't seem to get it. He's not, he's not coming back at all. And I'm sure you guys have heard that um, Texas has reopened its state 100% completely. Because Governor, Governor Greg Abbott announced on March 2nd that his administration will reverse the COVID-19 restrictions that have been in place in Texas effective next week. The governor issued an executive order that repeals the state's mask mandate and allows all businesses, regardless of the industry, to open to full capacity. It is now time to reopen Texas at 100%, Abbott said in a public remark on Tuesday. Wow, isn't that nice of him? He doesn't seem to care about his people. I wonder how long they're going to keep him in office, right? And an overall majority of Americans support President Biden's coronavirus relief package. A recent poll from Morning Consult and Politico found that 76% of voters are in favor of the $1.9 trillion American, American Rescue Plan including 60% of Republicans, only 17% of voters oppose the proposal. The plan recently passed that by the House includes more than $50 billion for expanded vaccination and testing efforts, a $1,400 direct stimulus checks to Americans, which would supplement the $600 checks Congress gave has already passed, bringing the total to $2,000 per eligible adult, and $170 billion for schools, $350 billion in emergency funding for state and local governments, and a plan to increase the federal minimum wage of $15 an hour by 2025. We already know that the Senate Parliamentarian actually sort of nixed that idea, and they're not really willing to go against it because it might cause a bit of ripples inside the, the Senate. The, mil the bill now faces an uphill battle, in the eventually divided Senate, as Biden cannot lose any Democrat support, despite 60% of the constituents supporting the legislation. Senate Republicans have remained opposed to it, going so far as to propose a scaled-back plan that would fund the recovery effort by less than one-third of the amount of Biden proposed, and does not include funds for state and local governments or rental assistance. See, this is what I don't get though, right? I mean, these Republicans are all talking about how we're in it for we're in it for the people, right? And yet their scaled back plan is one third of one point nine trillion dollars, which isn't a whole lot actually, because you think about it, that's gonna be like, what uh, I'll figure it out later. <laughs> but um isn't a whole lot. And they also don't include rental assistance. Okay, what are these people supposed to be doing? Well, the mortgage uh, and uh, foreclosure ban goes on in this thing, but they're renters, so but they get screwed. That's not right. These Republicans don't represent the people like they're supposed to. I mean, these Republicans have gotten so fat off their wallets that all they care about is more money in their pockets. They don't care about the people that they're supposed to represent. I mean, I will bring up a good represent or example. 
we have uh, what is it here? I forgot what her name was, but she was uh, basically Mitch McConnell's wife. She used to be a secretary of transportation, Elaine Chow, that's what her name is. How she basically funneled $1 million worth of paycheck protection money out of the CARES Act into her pocket, most likely. And other Republican senators did the same thing. And yet, as, as, as we got, the whole thing is, is Mitch McConnell comes from a state of the taking state, which means they take everything and give nothing back. Hence why Elaine Chow is most likely going to be getting away with taking a million dollars of the paycheck protection money and not giving it back plus interest. This is why I'm not really too fond of Republicans. And I hate to say it, some of the, some of the Democratic stuff that they're throwing out there, they need to get rid of as well. I mean, they, they need to really focus this bill on the COVID relief and the American people. Because if, if they give money to other countries and they give money to the arts and give money to this, that, and the other thing that has nothing to do with COVID, what's left of the people? More struggling? Because that's what's going to happen when the $1,400 stimulus checks run out for the people that can't qualify for unemployment. So basically, we're getting screwed. So I'm either hoping one of two things is going to happen, because I know this is running pretty long here, is I'm hoping that either that uh, one Republican senator who told him to get rid of all that unnecessary spending for a $10,000 stimulus check going out to people, either his his thing is put in, or the um, not 10 Democratic senators that suggested that they make the stimulus checks a recurring thing. In both cases, I hope one of those happens because that'd be great for the American people that could use it, that are unemployed, that don't qualify for unemployment. But this is actually all I have for you for this evening. So I hope you guys have a great day. And a magnificent evening, and I'll broadcast again to you tomorrow. Until then, you have a wonderful night. Bye. My mother told me someday I would buy gummies with good oars and sails to distant shores. Stand up high in the proud.